This lecture is about the contextual text mining. Contextual text mining is related to multiple kinds of knowledge that we mine from text data, as I'm showing here. It's related to topic mining because it can make topics associated with context, like time or location. And similarly, it can make opinion mining uh, more contextualized, making the opinions uh, connected to context. And it's related to text-based prediction because it allows us to combine non-text data with text data to derive uh, sophisticated uh, predictors for the prediction problem. So more specifically, why are we interested in contextual text mining? Well, um, that's first because text often has rich context information, and this can include direct context such as metadata, and also uh, indirect tech context. So the direct context uh, can include the metadata such as time, location, authors, and source of the text data. And they are almost always available to us. An indirect text context refers to additional data related to the metadata. So for example, uh, from authors, we can further obtain additional context, uh, such as the social network of the author or the author's age. And such information is not in general directly related to the text, yet through the authors, we can connect them. There could be also other text data uh, from the same source as this one, so the other text data can be connected with this text as well. So in general, any related data can be regarded as context. So there could be remote related context. And so what's the use? Uh, why is text context useful? Well, uh, context can be used to uh, partition text data in many interesting ways. It can almost allow us to partition text data in arbitrary ways as we need. And this is very important because this allows us to do interesting comparative analysis. It also, in general, provides meaning to the discovered topics if we can associate the text with context. So here's an illustration of um, how uh, context can be regarded as interesting ways of partitioning of text data. So here I just show some research papers published in different years. Uh, on different venues, different conference names here listed on the bottom, like the CIGAR or ACL, etc. Now, such text data can be partitioned in many interesting ways because we have context. Uh, so the context here just includes time and the conference venues, and, but perhaps we can include some other variables as well. But let's see how we can partition data in interesting ways. First, we can treat each paper as a separate unit. So in this case, a paper ID and the, the, each paper is, is, has its own context. It's independent. And, uh, but we can also treat all the papers written in 1998 as one group. And this is only possible because of the availability of time. And we can partition data in this way. This would allow us to compare topics, for example, in different years. Similarly, we can partition the data based on the venues. We can get all the CIR papers and compare those papers with the rest, or compare CIR papers with KDD papers, with ACL papers. We can also partition the data to obtain the papers written by authors in the US, and that, of course, uses additional context of the authors. And th this would allow us to then compare such a subset with another uh, set of papers written by authors in other countries. Or we can obtain a set of papers about the text mining. And this can be compared with papers about another topic. And note that these partitionings can be also uh, intersected with each other to generate even more complicated partitions. And so in general, this enables discovery of knowledge associated with different contexts as needed. And in particular, we can compare different contexts. And this often uh, gives us a lot of useful knowledge. For example, comparing topics over time, we can see trends of topics. And comparing topics in different contexts can also reveal differences about the two contexts. So there are many interesting questions that uh, require contextual text mining. Here I list some very specific ones. So for example, uh, what topics have been gaining increasing attention recently in data mining research? 
Now, to answer this question, obviously, we need to analyze text in the context of time. Right? Uh, so time is a context uh, in this case. Is there any difference in the responses of people in different regions to the event, to any event? So this is a very broad uh, analysis question. In this case, of course, location is a context. What are the common research interests of two researchers? In this case, authors can be the context. Is there any difference in the research topics published by authors in the USA and those outside? Now, in this case, the context would include the authors and their affiliation and location. So this goes beyond just the author uh, himself or herself. We need to look at the additional information connected to the author. Is there any difference in the opinions about the topic expressed on one social network and another? In this case, the social network of authors and the topic can be the context. Are there topics in news data that are correlated with sudden changes in stock prices? In this case, we can use a time series such as the stock prices as context. What issues mattered in the 2012 presidential campaign or presidential election? Now, in this case, time series again as context. So as you can see, the list can go on and on. Basically, contextual uh, text mining can have many applications.